Now for lesson number one. Look at the charts and pictures in your book for lesson number one. And be sure you press the strings between the frets, not on those brass bars that are on the neck of your banjo, in between. You notice how I've marked the positions and what fingers I want you to use in forming this first C major chord. Do you have your first finger and your third finger on the correct fret positions? Remember, I told you to press the strings between not on those brass bars. And the first brass bar on your banjo neck means the first fret. So when you see that anywhere in our music, that'll be the first fret. So again, let's check the chart and my pictures to be sure you're right. Let's try this chord together and hear how it sounds to us. I'll try mine first. <laughs> you can strike each string. See, the bass string is open, the third string is open, then your first finger is on the first fret of the second string, and your third finger is on the second fret of the first string, and here is your chord. Now let's try them together. Do we sound alike? Just strike all four strings with a down stroke, keeping your fingers on the strings. This is your first C chord, and I want you to practice this chord over and over with a single down stroke till you have memorized the finger positions and can do it real easy. Thank you.